to John Cola with DiscountJuicers.com. Today we have another exciting episode for you. In this episode, actually, I'll be testing the sound level on every juicer <laughs> that I have right now so you guys get to know how loud is that juicer in the window. And actually, this is the title of an article I wrote many years ago. Discount Juicers, is, we're now celebrating our 20th year in business selling juicers online. Probably one of the oldest companies that are still standing literally selling juices and one of my missions in life is to actually educate people about the juicers whether that's how they juice carrots how it juices jicama you know whether it juices fruits and wheatgrass whether it'll make sorbet so i do all these crazy tests juicing many different items comparing juicers head to head so that you guys could know the truth and I want to say for a minute, if you guys appreciate my work, have learned from my work, have benefited from my videos, I would encourage you guys to help me out. And you could do this by making your purchase at DiscountJuicers.com. This allows me to put food on my plate, literally, pay my bills, so I can continue to make these videos and other educational videos on YouTube to educate you guys about the power of the fruits and vegetables. So I want to thank you guys in advance who will support me, and I want to thank you guys who have supported me in the past, it's much appreciated. And there's many reasons to purchase from Discount Juicers aside from the videos you're getting. Check a link down below in the description for the specific reasons on why I think you guys should purchase from uh, Discount Juicers. There's definitely a lot of benefits and one of them is our price match policy. So don't think like, I could, John, I could get it cheaper at this other website for $5 less. I'm, $5 is five bucks, man, I'm gonna go to them. Well, hopefully if I've helped you out, right? You feel like, man, that guy, John, I wouldn't know what juicer to buy if it wasn't for him. Uh, spend the extra five dollars with me, right? <laughs> I'd love that. That'd be great so I can need my work. But if the five dollars is important to you or whatever the difference is, email me personally. Once again, check the link in the description below to contact me directly. Send me a link to the website. Tell me the price. And as long as it's an authorized dealer with the item in stock, um, you know, factory fresh, I'm glad to match any other's retailers delivered pricing for you guys. So you guys could not only get the service, but also get the price if that's important to you. Anyways, uh, on with this video. And one of the other things that you're going to get with discount juicers is that, you know, all my videos that I produce, I do it to educate you guys so you guys will know the right juicer to buy, right? Returning a juicer is expensive. You got to pay return shipping, you got to wait, all this kind of stuff. Nobody likes return juicers, whether you're a retailer or whether you're the consumer, because it's just a hassle. So my goal is to get you guys the right juicer the first time, right? And you literally are talking to the world's number one juicing expert. It's self-proclaimed, but I don't, I've never met anybody else that knows more about the juicers that have played with them more than I have with all the different brands. I've visited factories to see how they're made. I've taken them apart, all kinds of stuff. So you're talking to the person that knows the most in the world about juicers. So provided you explain your specific needs to me, I could fit you with the right one so that like most of my customers, they email me, John, thank you for recommending this juicer or that juicer for me. I love it, right? And I could also do that for you if I know your specific needs. So once again, check the links down below to contact me. Let me know specifically what you're going to be juicing you know, the different types of produce, the percentages of each type of produce you're going to be juicing, as well as some other features that you would actually like in a juicer. Maybe you want easy to clean. Maybe that's not important. You just want the highest yield. Let me know all your criteria. And basically, all that information goes into my brain. <laughs> and based on my experience with all the different juicers, I'll basically give you an answer on what I feel is the best machine for you. And if you have any further questions, ask me further questions, right? I'm here to help you guys out to make sure you guys get the right juicer. Now, unfortunately, that doesn't work 100% of the time. Sometimes there's a breakdown in communication. Sometimes people just watch my videos and order a juicer, and many times it actually works. But sometimes, um, you know, people maybe have, they should have asked a couple more questions before they order the juicer to make sure they're getting the right one. And that's what I'm here for. And in this case, what we got here actually is a return. Oh, return. We rarely get returns, actually, because we have mostly satisfied customers. But what happened in this case, this is the Omega VSJ843. That was just recently returned to me. And you're like, John, John, wait a second. Isn't there another one on that side? Yes, there is, because that's actually my personal home unit. 
If you guys look closely, you'll see juice stains on it. And that's because this guy gets a workout each, almost each and every day, basically, if I'm not traveling, by juicing some stuff in it. And uh, so, anyways, uh, what happened was this customer, they bought the VSJ843, said, John, I love the videos on the 843. I bought it because of your videos, and I got it. And when I turn it on, it's, it's louder than in your videos. So, I mean, this camera is just the microphone in the camera. There's no trick photography. I don't re reduce the sound levels in any of my videos for you guys. So what you guys hear is what you guys hear, right? But this concerned me. I'm like, whoa. So then, you know, I'm here to make things right. And, and should you get a defective juicer, you know, I'll definitely work with the manufacturer to get you a good one. So basically, in this case, what happened was she said it's louder. I said, okay, well, let me hear it. I called her up on the phone. I heard it. I'm like, all right, that doesn't sound quite normal. And she shipped it back to the manufacturer. The manufacturer sent her another one. And then, guess what happened? The same thing happened. She said, it's, it's too loud. And then this time she said, I'm just sending it back, John. I don't, I don't want you to listen to it on the phone. I, I'm not happy with it. So I'm like, whoa. This is a place that discount juicers now can improve. We can improve by making a video showing all the sounds of all the different juicers to have a record of it. In addition, I could use a decibel meter, a sound meter, to show you guys actually on the meter <laughs> what each juicer sounds like because I know for some people sound is really important and there are loud juicers and there are quiet juicers of course loud juicers are usually the high speed juicers generally the low speed juicers are generally quiet but let's face it when you are juicing produce or even running the machine dry there will be some squeaks and queaks and and different sounds and so I just want to be transparent and let you guys know what to expect so I don't get another return juicer because it's too loud and know this, right, uh, when you are juicing in the juicer, right, in most cases, the sound level is going to be muffled a little bit because in vertical juicers anyways, the produce kind of acts as a lubrication to quiet it down, as I will show you guys in a minute. But also at the same time, you could juice something and it actually could make it louder. And I'm going to show you guys an example of that as well. So anyways, let's get on with this video here. What I want to do is we're going to go ahead and turn on my sound meter here. And if I'm talking loud, it's got like 92 decibels at my loudest. Well, it's peaking up in the 80s now. Anyways, uh, we're just going to basically, I'm going to put it right on the table here. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and be like right in between both machines. And we're going to turn on my personal unit. So basically, we're peaking out at between 60 to 63 on the decibel meter, holding it at this position. Uh, from the machine. How about if we hold it right up top, right above the machine? Looks like 65 to 68 decibels right there. When I'm talking, it shoots up to like high 80s. <laughs> All right, next, let's go ahead and test this one. This is the return machine. All right, so this one is testing out about 64 to 65 decibels just sitting right here with this meter right here. And let's go ahead and uh, put it above like I did on the other one. I'd say like 69 to 73. So absolutely, this machine is louder than my machine. So the question is, is it defective? Well, here's the thing, right? When you get your juicer, right? If it's not like making crazy squeaking noise when it's running empty, it's probably fine. Every machine is gonna vary a little bit in a few decibels. Now this machine, when it's running, shouldn't sound at 80 decibels. That, that's out of the range. You know, in the 70s, that's probably acceptable. 80s that's that's too loud but nonetheless right uh, these machines are made and oh the other thing I want to mention this has happened recently is that when you run the machine sometimes you may see a little bit of movement in the top piece right it'll just kind of move just a little bit that's completely normal so don't be alarmed with that right and the way these pieces go in sometimes they creak and move a little bit and it's totally normal and some noise is fine so don't expect a super silent machine when you order a juicer right and the other thing I want to test actually right now is uh, we're going to go ahead and actually juice in my juicer some carrots and see if the sound level actually gets louder uh, or actually goes down. So let's see here. We're just going to go ahead and uh, set that down on the table. I'm going to be quiet and uh, start juicing. So we have a baseline right now actually when nothing's happening. It's like 39 on the decibel meter. We're going to go ahead and turn this machine on. I'd say it's a solid 66 when it's running just like this. Now we're going to go ahead and put a carrot in and take a look and see what it says. All right, so depending on when the machine was running, if it was empty or not, it was between like 64 and 70 decibels when it was running. 
Now, you know, the carrots kind of get in there, and as it's crunching up, that makes a little bit of noise, but the other thing is the carrots get in there, and if, you know, the liquid, once it starts juicing, all that pulp and the juice starts to act as lubrication in there to help quiet some of the wiggles and some of the things down. So that's a good baseline, but now what we're going to juice is jicama. Jicama, I swear, based on all my testing, everything I've ever juiced is the loudest vegetable to juice. So let's see how loud the jicama is when we try to juice it in the VSJ843. Alright, now we're going to drop some hickman and listen to this and I'll be watching the decibel meter. You guys could hear that and I don't know if you saw all that but we just definitely put in some parts where it was quite loud but basically you guys heard some of that screeching right it ranged in decibels from 83 and peaked up at 90 that's almost as loud as I talk but it's actually kind of in my opinion more annoying than my speech because <laughs> it's like squeaking and creaking so you know don't be alarmed when you're juicing sometimes it may be a little more mellow sounding Sometimes it may be more loud, you know, not many vegetables sound as loud as jicama. It's something that having to do with that texture. Um, you know, of course, fruits are going to be a lot more softer because they're not really getting crunched up. But nonetheless, generally slow juicers are quiet, high speed juicers are loud, right? So, um, learning this, basically, yes, this machine was a little bit louder, um, just running it empty. Uh, when maybe I run it with some produce, it might quiet it down a little bit in my opinion. But nonetheless, there are going to be some variations, so don't be like, John, I got a juicer, it's, it's louder than in your videos. Yes, it may be a little bit louder, right? But there's like a range of acceptable range, right? If it's squeaking and super loud, that's not acceptable. You know, some twin gear juicers do make some squeaking noises when they're running, that's completely normal. Maybe if you want to lube up some of the parts with some like flaxseed oil before you start juicing, it might be quiet if that really bothers you. <laughs> But I'm just here to show you guys what happens when you juice, all right? So the next part of this video, we're going to actually reset up. And I'm going to actually show you guys actually the decibel meter so you guys can see it clearly as I test each machine right in front of you, running it empty to see how loud all the juices are. And then at the end of this episode, we're going to come back with a summary of the quietest and loudest juicer in order. So as you guys can see, we're all set up and ready to do the decibel sound testing. So what I've set up is I've set up an X that marks the spot. This is where the main motor body will go for every juicer. And then maybe like a foot, uh, maybe like a foot and a half away is a decibel meter. This is like where it measures the sound level. And as you guys can see when I'm talking, it gets quite loud actually um, in the 80s. So I mean, basically we're just going to test each juicer. I'll probably say a few words about the juicer why I like it, the pros and cons real quick of them, but be sure to check the links down below uh, to my other videos uh, so you guys get a full uh, detailed review on every one of these machines that I'll be testing. So first up, the Omega VSJ843. This is the juicer that I use in my very kitchen. has the longest warranty in, in the industry, 15 years, and it juices a wide variety of fruits and vegetables. So this is like, I like the vertical juicers if you just want to juice a little bit of everything and not focus on any one thing. Also to me, this is the easiest vertical juicer to clean. It takes me about three minutes. Anyways, let's go ahead and put it on the spot and uh, let's turn it on. All right, so if you guys saw that, it looks like it was between 66 to 68. So we're going to go ahead and say 67 decibels for the VSJ43. So the next juicer in the testing jig is the Slow Star SW2020 juicer, another vertical single auger juicer. Um, really versatile, has a 10 year warranty, it's $20 less than the VSJ, and also comes with a mincing attachment that allows you to make frozen fruit sorbets and grind up things like garlic and even coffee beans. Anyways, uh, check links down below for a comparison of the VSJ to, to the Slow Star. They're so comparable. But let's see how this one rates in the level of sound. So 
So I was bet seeing between 58 decibel to 60 decibel, so we're just gonna go ahead and say 59 decibels for the slow star. So next up on the sound testing block is the Kuvings Whole Slow Juicer Elite uh, C7000 model here in the United States. And basically this is a, a three inch wide feed shoot vertical single auger juicer, so it works similar to the VSJ843 and the Slow Star. Just a little bit different as a wide feed shoot, doesn't mean you don't have to pre-cut things like celery and greens, although things like tomatoes and apples could go in whole. Uh, 10 year warranty, check the links down below for a comparison between all the different vertical slow juicers. Anyways, let's see how loud this guy is. I'm going to say between 62 and 64, so that we're going to call that 63 decibels. So next up on the chopping block is the Kuvings Whole Slow Juicer Chef Machine. Right, This is the commercial version of the model you guys just saw. It actually has, uses a similar uh, juicing screen. Check the links down below if I remember for a comparison between this and the home model. Basically in my testing, I got the same exact yield. So if you're juicing a lot for a big family, you might want to get the commercial machine, although there's not a major benefit. And one minor, major drawback actually, the drawback is actually this machine only has a one year warranty for home or commercial use. So you're literally, if you're getting this, you don't really need it, you're cheating yourself out of nine years on a warranty, which is not something to play with. Anyways, let's see how loud this guy is. So I'm going to say between 62 and 64 decibels, we'll call it 63. So next up we got the Omega TWN30S, it stands for silver, <laughs> Twin Gear Juicer by Omega. And uh, the Twin Gear Juicer is generally really good at juicing hard vegetables, get a high yield, but you got to use some downward force to push them into the machine. This is a commercial certified for light duty um, ETL sanitation, which is equivalent to NSF. Um, so anyways, let's go ahead and see how loud it is. I'm going to say that's between 68 and 69 decibels. We'll go ahead and call it uh, 68. Next up, we got the Green Star Pro Juicer. Now, this is my favorite twin gear juicer in the world. It's heavy duty. It is also uh, ETL sanitation approved, which is equivalent to NSF for commercial juice bars. Although this machine only has a 30 minute duty cycle, but would be perfect for juicing in your home. Um, this machine has the industry longest warranty at 15 years and 100% stainless steel gears, which I love. Let's see how loud this guy is. I'm seeing between 61 and 63, so I think we'll call it 62. Next up is the best-selling Omega NC800. This is my favorite horizontal single auger juicer on the market due to its large feed shoot, long 15-year warranty, and solid performance. Uh, these style machines are definitely best for things like sprouts and wheatgrass and leafy greens. And if you're going to juice a lot of celery, you definitely want to get a horizontal single auger like this or one of the twin gears uh, you guys just saw. Anyways, let's see how loud the NC800 is. So I saw between 64 and 66 decibels. I think I'll call it 65. Up next, we have the Omega NC900 HDSS. That stands for stainless steel. That's because this is a stainless steel body. I don't know if this machine will ever be available again, but I thought I'd test it since it is actually on the shelf here. And basically, it's just like the NC800. has a stainless steel body, a little bit different um, you know, molding on the juicing parts, but operationally the same. I tell you guys, know, you know, even within the same model or uh, one, the family that's all the same, there may be some variations, so uh, let's find out. So 
So this one tested between 67 and 69 decibels. I think I'll call it 60. Next up, we have the Omega CNC80S, which stands for silver. Now, this is Omega's compact version, perfect if you want to be do traveling. And it's just a lot smaller, although the yields are actually fairly impressive for being $100 less than the NC800, although it does have a smaller feed chute that I'm not personally a fan of. Let's see how loud it is. So I was seeing between 67 or 66 to 68, so we'll call that 67 decibels. So up next we have the Solo Star 4 by Tribest. This is Tribest's latest horizontal single auger juicer. Actually, in my test, gets the highest yield over and above the NC editor I like so much. Although it has a lot more screen area to clean, but if yields what's important to you. This is the machine you're gonna to want to get. In addition, this machine is also very energy efficient and runs at a lower RPM and has more torque than even the Omega horizontal single auger machines. Uh, let's see how loud this guy is. So I've seen between 64 and 66 decibels We'll call it 65. Next up is the original Champion 2000 Juicer. This thing, all metal, built like a tank. These are made in America, and actually for that reason I like it. I also like it for banana ice cream. That's why I specifically have this machine. I don't necessarily use it for juicing. Makes the best and most fluffy banana ice cream. That being said, when you are juicing things, it tends not maybe not to get the highest yield as possible, and maybe aerates the juice a little bit, uh, in my opinion. But uh, let's find out how loud it is. So I was seeing between 63 and 65 decibels. I think we'll call it 64. Next juicer up is the Breville Juice Fountain Elite. Um, let's see, this is the highest speed, fastest juicer you guys could buy. It's gonna maybe not get the highest yield at all on leafy greens and kick out a lot of wet pulp when you're juicing something like uh, fruits and apples and whatnot. But it is fast and a lot of people like that. I personally don't like the short one year warranty whereas a lot of the other machines I showed you guys previously have 10 or even 15 year warranties. Plus, as you will see, this is one of the loudest juicers. So uh, let's find out how loud it is. So that clocked in at a whopping 81 <laughs> decibels, the loudest machine so far, almost like an airplane taking off of your kitchen, or John Kohler talking. So the next juicer up is the Kuvings High Speed Centrifugal Ejection Juicer. So this is a much more affordable version of the Breville with actually a three year warranty, which is triple the length of the Breville, but also it's a high speed machine. So let's see how loud this guy is. I would say that clocks in at a solid 78 decibels. So the last juicer I'll be testing today is a dedicated citrus juicer. Uh, all the previous juices will basically juice a variety of fruits and vegetables, uh, you know, leafy greens and herbs. Um, some better than others, of course. But now we have the Citrus Star Juicer by Tribest just as a comparison, because a lot of you guys might have an orange juicer like this to compare how loud this is compared to a regular juicer. Now I do recommend you know, if you guys want to juice oranges, not get one of these guys. All the previous juicers will juice oranges, and I would encourage you guys to just cut off the orange coloring of the fruit and juice the white pith. That's the most important and most nutritious part of the orange that unfortunately does not get eating. That makes a nice, you know, milky, frothy juice rich in vitamin C and bioflavonoids more than just that standard orange juice you guys would buy at the store. Anyways, uh, let's find out how loud the Citrus Star is. All 
All right, so it's between like 74, 75 decibels. We'll just call it 75. So what did we learn in this video? We learned about the sound of all the different juicers. Like, I'm not like making this stuff up. <laughs> I showed you guys a decimal meter as I ran the juicer and showed it you guys, right? And I just try to share you guys like it is and you guys get to make your own decision, but we can only make the right decision if you have all the required information. So what did we learn in this episode, right? Juicers make noise, right? There's a motor in there, it's running, depending on the speed of the motor, how the machine is designed, the tolerances that it's made with will depend on how loud or quiet it is, right? So the loudest juicer by far was a Breville clocked in at 81 decibels. That's like the loudest thing you might want to wear earmuffs when you're wearing it. And once again, in my opinion, that excessively loud noise is a con for that machine, although the speed might be the overriding factor, although it does also make a lower nutritional quality due to all the oxygen being pumped into the juice in my opinion. Uh, and so the quietest machine, the winner of the quietest machine, the Slow Star Juicer, I, this came out of nowhere. I was super impressed that this machine is actually the, the quietest juicer, 59 decibels. I mean, the second quietest was the Green Star Pro at 62 decibels, and then it just basically goes up from there, 63 decibels, 69, 65, 64, and all the range, in between, right? The, li the links down below are to uh, the decibels and all the juicers that I tested in this episode if you're interested in buying them. And I want to let you guys know that, you know, the sound level of a juicer should just be one of the considerations that you guys have when buying a juicer. Sound level might be super important to some people, right? <laughs> but not important to others. To me, it's, it's really not a consideration as long as it's not like super loud. You know, for me, it's important that the machine works properly, or more important to me is that actually it's easy to clean, and I'm going to get a high yield. And actually, that's why I use the VSJ, even though it's <laughs> eight decibels louder than the Slow Star, just because I find it a lot easier to use, and in my testing, I get a higher yield. And that's what I like, but you guys might like something different, and that's why I make all these videos for you guys, so be sure to check the links down below, and check my YouTube channel for all my videos comparing all the different juicers. Uh, usually when I'm actually juicing things in them instead of just comparing the sound. But now you know which juicer is the loudest and which one's the quietest if that's important to you. So uh, if you guys enjoyed this episode, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. Also, if, if you know somebody else that's noise sensitive, <laughs> send them a link to this video and share it so that they could learn for themselves too how loud juicers are in the window. Um, also, be sure to click that subscribe button right down below so you don't miss out on any of my new and upcoming episodes. I've come out about every five to seven days. You never know where I'll show up or what you'll be learning on my YouTube channel here and what new juicer or vacuum blender I'll be demonstrating or what new comparison I'll be doing. Also, be sure to check my past episodes. My past episodes are a wealth of knowledge. Over 500 episodes at this time on this channel dedicated to teaching you guys about all the different appliances, including mostly juicers and vacuum blenders dehydrators and really soon freeze dryers, how that can positively impact your health by being able to include more fruits and vegetables uh, in your diet. So uh, with that, my name is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com. Be sure to visit DiscountJuicers.com slash YouTube for special promotional offers for our YouTube visitors.